that's what I was going to suggest anyways, is that uh, the rising after dying would be symbolic of the afterlife, that you're kind of rising out of your body. The past was behind her. I can already see right now that these games have a lot of symbolism in them. Yep. In this game, you can only walk backwards. Oh. That is really good. This is really cool, actually. I didn't expect this to be snazzy at all. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even walk backwards. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. That... Whoa. So it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. It is less advanced than the previous game, but actually it seems to be more focused, You can see down in between the walls. Code is trying to give it a unique I think that course, really just than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. That's really cool. Actually, can I walk through the future? No. Keep ch why does the future keep changing? I have a feeling I need to go this way. Something tells me it becomes clear when she stops and looks. This reminds me exactly of something that I would write in my creative writing class. Which is honestly why I took the class to begin with. But if the future is always behind her, I took a... <laughs> How will she find the strength? To confront it. It's a short little thought, it says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Didn't need anything more than that. Which to me is why it works, because it gets out quick. Okay, next one. Uh, I don't do horror games, man. Oh, I can walk forward, never mind. It's gonna jump scare me. Oh, no, it's not. Not today, mister. Oh. And that's it. Okay, the meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. Oh, that just scared the hell out of me. Nonsense. Coda would put bizarre titles In nearly like this every one. direction. This is very Portal-esque. He was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like... That was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at all, but what are you going to do? The plot twist is that Coda is dead. Are you getting tired from walking up all these stairs? Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why, if Coda's not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. But I kind of just want to... I'm going to go all the way up the, the true way. Hitting enter is for cheaters. My mama raised me right. I mean, this is how fast I would be going after this point, let's be honest. It's a lot of stairs, man. I can hardly make it up the elevator. Which always confuses people, and I don't know why. I always thought it was... Oh god, I heard a noise. <laughs> I think it actually does make me go faster. Yeah, it does. I think I jump up a step every time. You know what? If I would have hit enter... Instant gratification. That's the problem with our world today. You know what? I feel like I earned this. That's all that really matters, right? I earned this. still going pretty slow. I wonder if I don't hit enter, do you think I'll just play through the rest of this level going painfully slow? 
I bet yes. Juxtaposition. That is the best. I just learned that word today. I'm like, I'm never going to use this word in my life. Juxtaposition. You crazy? I'm going to juxtaposition your face. But lo and behold, first thing I get home. <sighs> this is a nice theme for the room. Look at it. It's like a white ceiling and a... Oh. Stand on an X staring at a bear for three hours. Live on a boat taking a orders from the that's captain. Warm and nice and filled with little ideas for games. A key in one game unlocks a door in a completely separate game. You walk around Coda would often tell me that he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. <laughs> you run a shop in your own body, strategically selling organs to make money before your imminent demise. I can't believe... You know what? I remember that entire thing. That's a funny... <laughs> <laughs> I'd play that game. <laughs> I used to play tycoons a lot when I was younger. Well, this is new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Do I just flip the switch? Is that it? Are you serious? That's not a puzzle. That's no puzzle. Oh, can I walk infinitely in each direction? Oh, maybe it is a puzzle. Okay, okay. I see. Okay. So if I flip the switch again... No, we can't toggle any flashlights here. So, I give up. I don't know. Can I break the game? Do you have to break the game? I don't think so. Probably not. Maybe if you jump at the door or sprint or punch the door. Can't do that. Alright, that's it. We're gonna have to break it down. <sighs> I literally... Is that water? Is that water I hear? Juxtaposition. Literally, how do I solve the puzzle? All right, let me just walk you through it. You're gonna hit the switch on the outside to open the door, then hit the same switch and walk through the door before it closes. You'll see a second switch on the inside, which will open the second door. I already did that. Don't forget that solution, because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. We're gonna see it a lot. So, okay, okay, let me get this straight. So that time you hit the switch, it gives you the answer. However, I just performed the proper action. So I solved that puzzle legitimately without help. And I'm not going to think of it otherwise. I did that. I actually did that. Kind of proud. I mean, I just did it kind of like a, like, screw this if I break the game oh well kind of thing, but... So that I'd... seems to be it, right? No, you but it's not. Corridor, but it's not it. Solve the puzzle, you get to the end simple enough. No, all there's right. more. Now I'm going to modify the game again so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. I actually have to do it this time. Oh my god. Ho oh, ho. That. Well, about that. There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. I actually find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game since they essentially convey the opposite idea. So, uh, in the stairs game, 
a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Either way, I think that the point is the same, is that most of the time you don't get to know what you're missing, or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? That's a very good question. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next episode. See you later, guys.